Hi everybody, welcome subscribers, welcome everybody to my channel. My channel is Lisa Fluid Art, add color to life. And today what I'm going to show you how I created, took a plate, like a dinner plate, not, a, I'm sorry, no, 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 not a dinner plate, but a salad plate. How I took a salad plate and made it look like there were wet rocks and sand at the bottom. Um, so it would kind of recreate an outdoor environment. I have a friend who lives in Santa Cruz. She came to visit a um, couple months ago, maybe even a little bit longer than that. She sent me a picture of an old bathtub, like an old fashioned bathtub that she had gotten. And she put it in her yard. I'm not sure which part of her yard, but she filled it with with dirt, not with sand, with dirt, she showed it to me. So she lives in an area that is pretty mild climate, um, doesn't get too cold, probably ranges between like 55 and maybe 80 with global warming, but typically summer days are like 65 to 75. Nice cool breeze because you've got that ocean breeze coming in. So you can grow a variety of really beautiful flowers um, that would perish. Like, like you could do tulips and freesia and stuff like that. So anyway, she, I think she's going to make it more of kind of um, maybe some wildflowers, but also like I could see her putting tulips in it. Anyway, she's gonna plant in it. Um, and that's just for like spring and summer. I don't know what else she'll do, but I'm sure she'll have a variety of things in her, um, in her bathtub, which kind of makes it easy for like weeds not to get in, you know what I mean? Cause it's like basically like a giant container, but the faucet the you know, the silver faucet thing is still attached. She wants, so she wants it to look like water is coming out of the faucet. Now, of course, people aren't going to see this close up. They're going to see it far away, but she, but if anybody does get close, you know, the dirt's up high, so it's possible to maybe see this plate, right? I don't know. She wanted me to do um, something to look like, you know, that uh, water was collecting there under the faucet or the water was perhaps running from the faucet. So I took this plate and I added rocks from the Zen Keeper. So I buy polished rock chips because I like to use them in my serving trays and I like to use them in my... Um, shot glass trays. So I have Labradorite and I have um, Lapis that I decided to put in there because the Labradorite's like a gray green rock and um, mixed with some of the blue and the gray of the Lapis would help it to create, you know, kind of an earthy look with a little bit of, I wanted to have a little bit of blue to make the water look blue or what's going to be the water. It's actually going to be epoxy resin because you know that stuff dries nice and shiny, right? And then I also put in some mica, some light blue mica into a little bit of epoxy resin and added that kind of in the middle so that when it pools, it looks kind of like, maybe like a dirty light blue, but you know, it looks more greenish gray, but I wanted to have a little bit of blue in there, okay? I think you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so I also got, um, oh my gosh, where's my, okay, enchantingfineart.com is a, um, is a creator and she makes shimmery sand. She calls it glitter sand this, and she calls it glam. This is black. Of course, kind of dark outside today. And it looks a little bit darker when I put it on the plate. I'm looking at it right now instead of looking at you guys. Um, but it's a beautiful color. And I don't know if I ordered the small or the large. I can't remember. One size is like $7, one size is $13. But this stuff is awesome, of course, and you don't have to use very much. So I ordered this color from her. And I also, ordered, these must be the large. These are the large, okay? And then I ordered this beautiful pink. 
Can you see that? What's going on in there? That is just, it looks even more gorgeous outside of the package. So I ordered these two and this berry, this berry one that is just, they're all three so, so pretty. And then she sent me some little pearls as a um, sample, but I can't find them right now. And she sent me another color, but she also sent me this color. Look at this color. OMG, isn't that such a pretty like burnt orange? She calls it orange, orange glam sand, free sample. Look at all of that. Check that out. I cannot wait to find something to use this in. So I've got that. Um, so that comes, you know, basically, I don't want to say locally, but yeah, locally here in the U.S. You can look her up, take a look at her stuff, her prices, because I think you'll really like it. So it's enchantingfineart.com. This one is very, oh, no, it's called, it says luxury embellishments. I got those RRYs. I thought it was a berry, but this is like a deep red. Very pretty. Um, so that's directly from her website. Zen Keeper, I get this stuff off of Amazon. So they have rock chips. I bought um, um, other stuff from them too, you guys. And it's super affordable. Like you can get a pound for, I don't know, $13, $14. And you'll be able to use them. You'll be able to use a lot of it. So... Um, and I think you can get amethyst. Um, I think you can get the rose quartz, um, citrine. So I've actually bought just like some polished rocks from them, I think, in the citrine. It's really super pretty. So I'm going to leave it with that. And I'm going to show you guys what I did. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it inspires you to maybe try something a little bit different. I love to do different stuff, you know? I like to do the trays. I love to do fluid art too. And right now, um, since I've been doing a lot of stuff that isn't fluid art, now I wanna get back to the fluid art, but gotta finish this video first. Okay, thanks for joining me. Here is the Labradite. I've gotten a few out of the bag to show you. And um, sometimes the Labradite will have a shine to it almost like an abalone shell it'll get this beautiful green or this beautiful blue shimmer when the light hits it this a certain way so i'm trying to show you that um, however it isn't in all of the stones but it's here and there it shows up and um, i really like that about the labradite and then next i'm going to show you the lapis the lapis is pretty. I mean, lapis has been around forever. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous blue um, that you get with it. Some of the rocks are a little bit gray, and some of it is also like a very light gray. Um, very pretty. Okay, well, let's move on to the next step. Here's the plate. I've covered it in the lapis and the labradite. And um, I just think it's gonna look great out there. So um, I'm going to be mixing up some epoxy, kind of pushing the rocks out a little bit. I want to create a little bit of depth in there. So I'm gonna kind of push the rocks out a little bit and I'm going to um, mix up the epoxy. And I'm just gonna drop that, um, I'm just gonna, you know, add the black um, glam sand. I should call it that, the glam sand, it's cool. Anyway, and I'm gonna put that around the edge. I don't really wanna have that gold showing, and so I think it'll be cool to put the black around it. So that's what I'm gonna do. going to add the epoxy in, mixed it up. It's got a lot of bubbles in it, so I'll have to get that out. Now, I did overfill with the epoxy, I got to tell you, doing it on the edge here. I should have been a little more careful, and I wasn't, but um, I'm also going to show you later how I 
remove the epoxy that's stuck on the edge of the plate, how I get that off of there. And it doesn't matter on the very bottom, but of course we don't want it dripping down the sides or have paper stuck to it. So I'll just let you watch this part. And I really want to fill that in so none of the gold is showing through so I'm just kind of going to go over it right now and then I'm going to add some mica in a light blue to make it look more like the water is pooling at the bottom. some leftover epoxy so I just added mica to the epoxy to make it easy to mix I didn't want to put it in there and then not be able to mix it in but I'm adding more epoxy and you can see some dripping over so I had actually put I think three ounces mixed three ounces total and I really only needed a couple of ounces that would have been plenty so, but here I am trying to give it a little bit of a water, watery look at the bottom. pushing some of the stones out because I do want it to puddle up in the middle, um, thereby creating more of a puddle of water look.
cover it and check on it the next day. Oh, I'm just adding a little bit of glitter, just a few final touches and then I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, it's the next day and it's dry and I think it looks really good. Um, and as I go to lift, you can see, uh-oh, it's stuck. It's stuck to the paper. So when this happens, and if you've worked with epoxy, it's probably already happened to you. If you haven't, it probably will happen at some point. Um, but the paper and everything is stuck. There's some big pieces stuck. And what I'm doing there is saying I should have put it, lifted it up for the evening. But you can see that's a big glop of epoxy and it is stuck to the paper. So I'm gonna have to heat it up with my heat gun and it's pretty simple. So I'll just show you the process. So I just heat it up a little bit and I'm able to pull it away. And since this is going to lay in the dirt, it's okay if I leave what's on the very bottom attached as far as the epoxy goes. It looks wet to me. It looks like there's some water, could be water puddling up. And I feel like it's, um, um, that it's got the, um, the correct look that we were looking for. Um, I think I pulled off a little bit of glitter ripping off the epoxy so I can touch that up and then I'll show you what else I did. Now this idea didn't work so we're just going to skip it. I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> so, so I put some Vaseline down on my silicone mat and I just started layering line after line after line of the hot glue. I had a little bit of blue glitter here and there and continued to do it and made it nice and thick. And that was all that I did for that. And then my friend is probably going to glue it into the inside of her faucet so that it hangs down, but she does have some options as to what she can do. around to 
to make it look like it's getting smaller at the bottom. Then when it comes out, and this will be from a distance, it should look like that. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you some ideas. Thank you.